good morning folks hey there's nothing like springtime fishing for crappie my favorite fish to catch uh, they're the, at their easiest to catch right now um, and, the, and the water temperature is warming up matter of fact the water temperature is 59 degrees on the surface and uh, we've had some 70 degree days uh, the crappie are driving into the shallows and really starting to spawn right now stay with me today and let's catch some of these pretty things as far as equipment today i'm going to use a six foot eagle claw rod light action i'm going to use a kinetic reel it's a um, quantum kinetic it's an old grill. I've had it for a long time. It's loaded with two pound test line. And I'm gonna fish under a little bitty cord. And I'm using a 132nd ounce jig head with a, a two inch slab tail. Got a lot of action right here on the back end of the bait. Tied with a loop knot. Now on two pound line, I'll tie a loop knot, loop knot. But on one pound test line, I won't. I'll tie either a Palomar or a trilene knot, which in my opinion is the two strongest knots you can you can tie when it comes to monofilament line. But stay with me, we're gonna fish up shallow and see if we can catch some of these sockelay, or we'll catch a speckled perch, crappy or a crappie. Either way, that's the fish we're gonna target. Okay, we're approaching our spot right here. There, Elmo, Elmo couldn't come today. He had to go get a tooth pulled and uh, it's his best biting tooth so i think he's gonna have to eat soup and stuff like that for a while but now that you know that happens um but anyhow today we're going to use this particular jig right here this is the two inch slab tail june bug and sharp cruise tail and the, the reason i selected this color is because it's an overcast day Okay, and um, I'm just going to use it up under this float. My attractant today is going to be slab saws. Now I'm getting where I like this stuff. It works. Uh, Fish Formula has made the mask L Serene, which is a chemical that we serrate from our palm, palms. It's sweat. And I believe it'll help you catch a few more fish. That's just an opinion, but it don't hurt. Look at here what you got us into, Elmo. We ought to stayed about where we was at right there. We'd have ended up catching them, but no. You got to get out here where it's rough. I'm still convinced that was a crappie bite. Can't get it in there just right. The wind won't let me, but... Sooner or later, I'll get a break in the wind, and when I do... That crappie's gonna get a... There he is, a hook in his nose like that right there. That's a good one. That's a real good one. <clears throat> this pollen is rough this evening. It's really pollinating. Pretty little black crappie. Now, I knew it was crappie bite. Now, come on in here. That's two pound land, Richard. I forgot. Pretty little male. He's real black in coloration. Makes him pretty when that sun hits him like that. Let's let him go. Get on back in there, boy. Yeah, I was, I couldn't, I can't fish where I want to, folks. 30 mile per hour winds I found out. I wished I'd have watched the weather, but I don't think that would have made any difference. I was in the mood to go fishing and I couldn't hit. You'd think there'd be one more bite in there, Elmo. I can't tell how big. Well, acting up now. We got 
three bites out of that tree. Excuse the wind noise, folks. I'm <laughs> That's how quick Gunnersville Lake can turn around on me. Just like that. Just in a heartbeat. This lake is so big. Okay, let's get this crappie that it, the wind can just turn bad out of nowhere. That's a good one. Come on. One here, one there. Beautiful fish. Let's let him go. There you go. Shake your head there, buddy. I don't blame you. Not at all. While I'm in position, I'm going to go ahead and throw another one. Well, I'm not in position. <laughs> I was. Ah. There's another tree right here in front of me. Right in there. I'm going to fish it the same way. There we go. That's crappie. I got you. Or I do so far. Now that's a good one. There ain't no doubt. This one right here is doing some thumping. Yeah, look here what a crappie. Wow, boy. Pretty black. You're done. Come on. Come on, baby doll. Hey, stop it. Stop it. No, no, no. Hey. Good night. What a fish. What a beautiful fish. Let's let him go. Go on back in there. Catch you, buddy. You ain't gonna catch no fish over. All right, we blow way down here. Now I found a top right here that's over six and a half feet of water. So that there's no doubt that they should be some fish right here. It's located right here on a point right here so that's prime or should be I'll have to turn around here and face into the wind we'll dissect this tree and see where those fish are see where the sweet spot is see there's always every time a sweet spot on a tree it could be on the outer end, it could be midway, or right there close to the bank. But there's always one spot that's going to produce crappies. Sometimes it's two spots. Sometimes you just have to dissect a tree along it and find that where they're at. And that takes a little bit of patience, but now we got the patience. Once you find them, it's boom, 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 boom. Depends on how many fish is on that bed. Sometimes you can sit there and catch them till you give out. There's a bite. Now, I don't know if that was a crappie. I couldn't tell, but I'm gonna put it right back in there. Yeah, I'm not exactly where it's. I got that bite, but close. There's crop. <laughs> I found that sweet spot quick. Wow. That's a bit crappy too. Take my time here. Let me back off of that golly. He come up to the top of the water and he's just shaking that head like crazy. Look. Get off that tree. Main thing, not to disturb your hole. Yep. Old crappie flop. Yep. I know it. You mad because that hook's in your face. 
I don't blame you. Now there is a beautiful fish. Look at there. Let's let that fish go back. And I'm going to throw right back in that sweet spot. Right. There. See if that floated just go boom. That's how it does. It just boom. Matter of fact, there he is. Yeah. Night. Hold my rod up. There's a lot of timber right in there. Now this fish here is giving me a fit. This is a big crappie, folks. I mean a big crappie. Got to be. To be fighting like that. Let me get him out of there. Yeah. <laughs> this is a different kind of fish. Okay, now I deal with him. I got him out of that top. Yeah, it's a big crappie. I just let them wear out these bigger fish. I don't get in no hurry. Look here, what a fish. My goodness. You talking about a hog head now. That's a big one. Hey, go. Look here, what a fish. Let me quit now. I gotta get you. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. <laughs> uh, let me get out of this top. I'm having a lot of fun right here. Now, there hey, is a Tennessee River slab. That fish has got shoulders on him. I, I guess that's the way you say it. I've heard that term before. Shoulders on him. Okay, let's let that big boy go right here. Let's get right down here with him and let him go. See what he does. They'll do it every time. That's what I like about it. Folks, thank you for watching. Okay, I want y'all to get out whether you use this technique or another whatever's comfortable for you and have some fun this spring winter time well it was rough it was here in north alabama and i know up north it was terrible and i had a lot of comments and folks tell me how bad that it is still right now but when that ice melts i want y'all to get out there and have a ball hey and remember well Hey, remember, go fishing when you can. Bell calls it good.